Hello students, this is Adarsh and now let's study about the simple tenses that is the next chapter of your English language. Now in simple tenses, firstly we are going to study about simple present tense. Now what is simple present tense or what does it describe? The simple present tense in English is used to describe an action that occurs on a regular basis or to state a universal truth. In other words, it is used to denote an action or to show an action that happens on a regular basis or that action is repeated again and again. Now let's study its uses. The first use of simple present tense is that it is used first for repeated or regular actions for example i go to school by bus so this action of going to school is a regular action so in such case we use simple present tense now the second use of simple present tense is it is used to describe or show for facts now what is facts a fact is a thing that is known or proved to be true. For example, a spider has eight legs. So this is a fact because this is a true, proved to be true. Okay, so a spider has eight leg. So this is a fact and in such cases we also use simple present tense. Now. The next place where we use simple present tense is to show a habit. Now habit is again a action that is done on regular basis. For example, Martha brushes her teeth three times a day. So this is a habit plus this is an action that is done on a regular basis. So in such condition also or in such scenario also, we also we use simple present tense. Now the fourth place where we use simple present tense is it is used to show for things that are generally true. For example, the sun rises in the east. So this is a true statement okay this is a statement that is generally true so in such cases also we use simple present tense okay now let's study about the structure of the sentences in simple present tense now first we are going to see in affirmative sentence or in positive sentence so what is the structure students so it is very simple first we write subject then base form of the verb then rest of the sentence now let's try to understand with this example that is first of all we write subject so here a mother is a subject then we have to write what base form of the verb so here loves is the base form of the verb and then rest of the sentence then her children. So what is the structure for affirmative sentences in, in simple present tense? It is first we write subject then base form of the verb then rest of the sentence. Here we wrote mother a mother here it is subject then we wrote loves that is the base form of the verb and then her children that is the rest of the sentence now let's see what is the structure in negative sentences in simple present tense now for negative sentences we use following structure or this is the general structure first of all we write subject then we write auxiliary verb Auxiliary verb means helping verbs uh, that includes do or does. Then we use put not. Then after that we write main verb and that is in the base form. 
and then we write the rest of the sentence for example penguin do not fly so here penguin is subject after that we wrote auxiliary verb after that we wrote not okay then we wrote the base form of the verb okay now let's see the structure in of interrogative sentences in simple present tense so what is the structure first of all we write auxiliary verb that includes do or does then we write subject then we write main verb and that in its base form then we write rest of the sentence now let's try to understand with this example do you need my help here do is auxiliary verb you is subject need here is main verb and it is here in it is in its base form and then my help that is written in that is the rest of the sentence and because it is a interrogative sentence so we will put a question mark so students the next tense that we have to study is simple past tense now let's see where it is used or what it is used to show the simple past tense in english is used to describe an action that got over at a definite time in past or in other words it is used to show an action that has already happened in the past now let's see its uses now mainly it is used to show four types of actions first it is used to show for an action that was completed in the past or in other words again it is used to show an action that has already happened in the past for example it rained yesterday so this action of raining has already happened in past so in such cases we use simple past tense now the other place where simple past tense is used to describe a past state for example she was a banker so what is the past state of this she that she was a banker so in such cases we also use simple past tense now the next is to show a duration in the past example let's try to understand with this example she studied french for 2 years so actually for 2 years is actually showing a duration a duration of time in the past okay so in such cases we also use past simple past tense okay and the last uses it is used to describe an action that was completed as a at a specific time in the past okay uh, it means we know that is that specific time when that action was completed in past for example i went to paris last year so this action is already completed in the past and we also know the specific time that i went to paris when last year okay so the fourth use is it is uh, the fourth use of simple past tense is that it is used to describe an action that was completed at a specific time in the past students as you can see that i went to paris last year so here uh, we have a specific time okay in the past when the action was completed now let's now try to understand the structure of different type of sentences in simple past tense the first sentences that we are going to see is affirmative sentence or positive sentence so the structure of affirmative sentences in simple past tense goes like this first of all we write subject then we write past form of the verb and then rest of the sentence if you remember in 
simple present tense we wrote base form of the verb but in simple past tense we are writing past form of the verb now let's try to understand with this ex uh, this with an example she arrived on time so first she is subject then arrived arrived here is verb and it is in which form it is in the past form of the verb then on time that is the rest of the sentence so this was the structure for affirmative sentence next comes the negative sentences okay so let's see the structure first comes the subject then the auxiliary verb or the helping verb that includes did then we put not then we put main verb and in which form students in the base form and then we write rest of the sentence now let's try to understand with this example uh, they did not go to the beach so here they is subject did is auxiliary verb now because it is a negative sentence so we will put not then we will put verb or or then after that verb comes and in which form base form and then to the beach that is rest of the sentence so you can say they did not go to the beach so this was the structure of negative sentence in simple past tense now next comes the structure for interrogative sentence in simple past tense now interrogative sentences can be of two types students you should remember first is yes or no questions and second is wh questions so what is yes or no questions you should know this when answer comes in yes or no when answer of any question comes yes or no then such type of questions are known as yes or no questions and the other type of question is wh questions so first we are going to see the structure of interrogative sentence and that to yes or no questions in simple past tense so the structure goes like this first we write auxiliary verb and which auxiliary verb did then we write subject then we write main verb and main verb we write in which form in base form then we write the rest of the sentence let's try to see with this example did the cab arrive on time so first of all we will write did that is auxiliary verb then we will write subject here the subject is the cab then we will write main verb so here main verb is arrive and it is in base form and then comes the rest of the sentence that is on time so i am trying to just clear you again students listen carefully there are two types of questions okay yes or no questions and wh questions so when answer of any question comes yes or no then such type of questions are known as yes or no questions okay so here we saw the structure of yes or no questions in simple past tense now we are going to see the structure for wh questions in simple past tense and what is wh questions in which words like which when where why come wh okay so these type of questions are known as wh questions so what is the structure students first of all the question word come that is the wh word okay the wh question so first of all what comes the question word comes that is that is that it may be when where or why then comes auxiliary verb and which auxiliary verb comes did then comes subject then comes main verb and the verb is in which form base form and then comes the rest of the sentence now let's see where did they play cricket so where is 
डब्ल्यू एच क्वेश्चन ओके देन कम्स द ऑग्जिलरी वर्ब एंड विच ऑग्जिलरी वर्ब स्टूडेंट्स डिड देन कम्स द सब्जेक्ट दैट इज दे देन कम्स द वर्ब दैट इज द मेन वर्ब एंड दैट टू इन विच फॉर्म बेस फॉर्म देन कम्स द रेस्ट ऑफ द सेंटेंस now next we are going to study about simple future tense okay now let's see its uses simple future tense in english is used to describe an action that will happen okay that will happen in the future okay it means it is used to show an action that has not happened yet that is not happening but that will happen in the future in immediate or on the spot decisions intentions promises predictions or without evidence okay now let's see its uses first uses first uses to talk about action that are not planned the speaker decides to do the action at the time of speaking okay first of all it is used to show an action that has not planned that has not been planned before and the speaker just decides to do the action at the time of his speaking for example i will help you do your homework if you give me some of your ice cream okay so in this as you can see the action was not decided the action was not planned before but the speaker decided to do the action at the time of speaking i will help you and this is the action that will happen in future so first use let's see with example i will help you do your homework if you give me some of your ice cream okay second use of simple future tenses to predict a future event okay let's see with this example it will rain heavily tomorrow so it is used to show an action that will happen in future and it is actually a prediction okay it will rain heavily tomorrow so it is used to predict a future event or a future action because this action of raining has not yet happened but it is a prediction that it will rain in future it will rain heavily tomorrow so this is the second use of simple future tense next is to talk about promises or commands example i will man this post till you are back second i will serve you loyally and well when i am in the army so this is a promise that i will serve okay and next is we use not after will to form negative sentences in the simple future form so when we need to convert it in negative form or negative sentence we will simply put not after the helping verb so it will not rain till june now now let's try to see the structures of different types of sentences in simple future tense the first type of sentence that we are going to study is affirmative sentence so the structure goes like this first of all comes subject then will then base form of the verb then rest of the sentence example she will write a letter to the editor she is subject will write so will after that comes will after that comes the base form of the verb that is write then rest of the sentence okay the next type of sentence is negative sentence so let's see this let's see its structure so first comes base first comes a uh, subject in negative sentence let's see the structure okay 
सो फर्स्ट कम्स सब्जेक्ट देन कम्स विल और शैल देन वी विल राइट नॉट देन वी विल राइट बेस फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्क देन रेस्ट ऑफ द सेंटेंस फॉर एग्जाम्पल ही विल नॉट अराइव ऑन टाइम सो ही इज सब्जेक्ट देन कम्स विल और शैल सो ही आर वी आर यूजिंग विल देन वी विल राइट नॉट then we will write base form of the verb so here base of form of the verb is arrive then rest of the sentence on time so he will not arrive on time so this is the structure of negative sentence in which tense simple future tense now after that comes the structure for interrogative sentences in simple future tense so again first we will study about yes or no questions then we will study about wh wh questions so again as i told you what is yes or no questions uh questions whose uh, which answers uh, will come yes or no and which has no wh words at the beginning so such type of questions are known as yes or no questions so what is the structure of yes or no questions in simple future tense it will be will or sh uh, shall then comes subject then comes base form of the verb then comes rest of the sentence let's see example will you meet me at the mall so first comes will then comes subject so here you is subject then comes verb and in which form base form and then rest of the sentence me at the mall so will you meet me at the mall so because it is a interrogative sentence so don't forget to put question mark after each sentence okay so this was the structure of wh questions in simple future tense now next we are going to study about uh, the structure of wh questions in simple future tense so the structure goes like this first of all the wh word come what is wh word uh, the wh questions like when where what are the wh word then comes will then comes subject then comes verb and in which form base form then we will write the rest of the sentence so where will you go for your vacation so first comes the wh word then comes will then comes subject and what is subject here you then comes verb and in which form base form then rest of the sentence so where will you go for the vacation and again don't forget to put question mark because it is a interrogative sentence now next is we use going to with the base form of the verb to form simple future for example we are going to sell their old they are going to sell their old car next week next we write the appropriate be verb and what is the form of the be is mr with going to so we use be going to plus verb to talk about actions that are planned and will definitely happen example simi is going to live in australia for next 6 years so this is a action that is planned and that will happen definitely in the future so what we are using first of all we are using subject then we are using is then going to then verb then rest part of the sentence and next what is the use to predict a future event based on a current situation example the utensils are going to fall off the shelf if you don't arrange them arrange them better so this is action uh, that is predicted to happen in future on the basis of current situation and in negative sentences using be going to we write not after the be verb 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगेन स्टूडेंट्स रिमेंबर वट आर द डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स ऑफ बी द डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स ऑफ बी इज इज एम आर सो वेन सो वेर एवर यू सी इज एम आर दे आर सिंपली द फॉर्म ऑफ बी सो इन निगेटिव सेंटेंसेज वी विल सिंपली पुट नॉट आफ्टर द वर्क बी सो वी आर आर इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ बी सो वी आर नॉट सो आफ्टर दैट वी विल पुट नॉट going to win the competition if you don't practice so students that's it for today thank you for watching